Yeah, we played before together. We have so, had some success. I mean, uh, you know, we just tried to... I said it before, we tried to play unselfish. Just uh, play hockey and enjoy our time on the ice. I think uh, this is always very important when uh, you know, you're working hard and creating some chances. And Yeah, we play... I uh, thought we played well today, but I'm uh, pretty sure we can play better. And uh, this was a good start for a road trip for us. And, you know, time to get ready for the next game. It seemed like you guys really had your cycle and your possession game going tonight. I mean, we tried to play with the puck. Um, like I said, I think we can create more. But, uh, you know, when you play with the puck, you have a confidence during the game. Um, not chasing the puck, but, you know, to have the puck creating a place. And uh, this was our plan for a game. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure we can play better. Honey, they're a team that likes to give up a lot of slot chances. Is that something that you guys were trying to look for tonight as, as a unit, your group? We have a preparation not only for like our line, but for all team, uh, how the other teams play, how we can, uh, you know, take advantage in the all zone and the D zone. So, uh, yeah, it was one of those things, try to find the you know, slot chances, and uh, I think it worked pretty well. Buddy, I know you guys are used to playing with everybody and you have so much depth, but is it interesting to the players to see who Craig puts you with on a given night? It seems like when he switches it up, you guys have a lot of success. Uh, I mean, this is a coach decisions and uh, it's nothing to do with it. We just, you know, play as a line, whoever you play with. Like I said before, the most important thing is to enjoy your time on the ice and... Uh, you know, sometimes coach making decisions, it's not our business, and we're just here to play the game. Well, Eddie, the, the, the fourth line has really been contributing lately. I wanted to ask you specifically about Oscar Sundquist, who, you know, has had to come back from these, these surgeries. It seems like he's really perking up now. I mean, I've, I've been through this, and it's very exciting, especially for me to see uh, guys coming out from uh, long-term injuries and start having success. You know, it's it's a hard work to rehabbing after those surgeries, and uh, yeah, we're really, really excited for him. And uh, as you look back on the 19th, fourth line was a major factor to our success, and, you know, the guys play now, they're doing a very good job, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, you have to be happy when uh, the other guys have success. Do two more guys. And how about, how about Clint Costin? Uh, one, does he? He seems like he's coming along. And does he lean on you for for uh, advice a, a lot of the time? No, we try to we try to help young guys. Doesn't matter if he's from Russia or from somewhere else. But yeah, we obviously talk a lot. Try to help him. You know, share our experiences. Um, been in the league in a while, so I think it's uh, usual when you try to help a young guy in a, in a team to you know play right and uh, find a success. Vladi, how, how big was it for your defense to kill off that five on three? I mean, this year we have a few five on threes. Um, like everybody played desperate, especially I want to mention Bobo, like Bertuza. Robert, is, it's unreal to see, you know, when a guy tried to block a shot with every part of his body, that's a huge credit to those guys. They might not, might not share some, uh, you know, spotlights in the media or something, but inside the team we know it's, it's insane and, you know, make us proud uh, of our teammates and make us work hard.